Hi everyone, welcome back. This is question seven now of the City of London School for Girls, paper two. And this one is um, one of those questions where you have to kind of work out reason and think about which person is lying. So let's have a go at reading this. Amy, Bella and Cara have 20 sweets all together. Okay, so that's quite important here. 20 sweets, they have all together. Amy says that she has 10 sweets. So Amy says she has 10 sweets. Very kind of her to tell us. Bella says that Cara has one more sweet than Amy. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. So Bella says that Cara has one more sweet than Amy. Okay, and then Cara says that she has the most sweets. It says here, though, that exactly one of them is lying. Okay, no more than one. Um... And no fewer than one either. Who is lying is a question. And we have to explain briefly how you know. Okay, so this was a... Um, at first, you might think of a tricky one. Um, but what kind of gives it away is the fact that if we have Amy, and Amy says she's got 10, okay? If she's got 10, and Bella says that Kara has one more sweet than Amy, okay? So Kara has one more sweet than Amy. So if Amy's got 10, then cara has got one more, which means she's got 11. And then we don't know if Bella has any um, or, you know, or she's got um, more, uh, she's got more than Amy, you know, more than Amy, or it can't be more than Amy because cara has got one more if she's telling the truth, right? So we don't know. We've got to work out who's lying. Okay? We don't know how many Bella has either. But what we do know is all together, they have 20. And if Amy's got 10 and Cara's got one more, then um, then that can't work either, right? Because then that means that that means that they have altogether more than 20, 21. Okay, and there's only 20 here. So let's have a think about this. So let's say um, let's say is if 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 Amy's telling the truth. Then um, Bella says Cara has one more sweet than Amy. She could be lying. Or um, Cara says that she has the most sweets. So she could be lying. Okay. So if either of them, are, only one of them are lying, then that can't work. Because in both of those scenarios, more than 10 sweets means that um, altogether, it's going to be more than 20. And so... Therefore, Amy, Amy, therefore, must be the one that's lying. So what would be the reasoning behind this? So Amy says she has 10 of the sweets. Bella says that Kara has one more sweet than Amy. Kara says that she has the most sweets. So what I would say is that Amy is lying. And the reason why she's lying is because the other two other two statements would both mean that altogether would both mean that all together they have more than 20, okay? Which in this case, they can only have um, a total of 20, which means that Amy must be the one that's lying because only one of the statements can be false, not both of the statements. And so Amy's lying because uh, because is because <laughs> okay that's wrong Amy's lying because the other two statements would both mean that all together have more than 20 and as only one statement can be uh, false it must mean Amy is 
lying. Okay, hope that makes sense. And that's the end of this question. So if you've enjoyed that, if you've understood that, it would be lovely to hear your comments and what you think. If there's a better way, let us know as well. If there's a more efficient way, a different way to think, we love to encourage that actually. Even in our tuition courses um, and our tuition lessons, um, what we really um, encourage children to do is think not just in one way, but in many different ways. So we would encourage that in our comments too. So let us know if there's any other way that you feel would be as efficient or more efficient than this method.